try to play, but you're never gonna beat me. Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy. Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me. Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me. Looking for change, looking for pain. Pulling a mob, pushing a train. I'll never stop, stick to a lane. Pick up the pieces and go rearrange. What's up, guys? Master Styles here, back with another Eternal Evolution video. And today, we're gonna to be covering the patch notes. I have a new gift code for you guys. And also, at the end of this video, we'll attack a uh, super, well, actually, I was gonna say super. No, this guy's a Ultra Kraken in Hell Arena. And let's hop over to Hell Arena here. As you can see, not this guy, not him. Uh oh, no, 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 this guy. Look at this, woo. We'll come back to that. So we'll, you're gonna wanna stick around to see that there, okay? All right, so let's hop over to the patch notes here and see what we got going on. So when it comes to Lemma, we already read this, not new change there. But again, limited recruitment event will be open on both servers, of course. We'll be able to get a Lemma garbage and garbage, okay? And you have 21 days to get said hero my strategy is, of course, summon for new hero, day one, bring him to a mortal, all of that fun stuff. But for you, it may be a little bit different. Summon on the second week may be the better way to go if you're free to play, because then you'll get the awakened shard for the new awakened hero. I'm going to do all of that anyways. But for me, I also start preparing from the middle of the second week. So Monday, whenever Ancient Altars awards given out, I start preparing from there. That's kind of my strategy. And then all of the stuff that I need to get the hero to a mortal. And from there on, I'll try to acquire. The off banner is going to be Barag. I do need two copies of Barag to get him to a mortal five. Interesting there, because now it sounds like we're moving towards vanguards again. As you can see, Vanguards are going to be needed for getting past 18-4. If you're there or if you pass that, kudos to you. But if you're just now getting there, you're going to need some strong Vanguards to push past that level. Of course, there's a Space Time Symphony. That's going to be there. You get a copy of Alema and Divine Prototype recruitment cards like i mentioned hold on to those if you get to that level hold on to those cards and wait till the pyramid comes back around there's also soul crystal nucleus i put up 180 to get that soul crystal dust i don't really care much about that astral recruitment cards it's up to you if you want to hold on to that right or for me i'm just gonna pop it because i'm very close to getting my first caraxia shard and specific sp hero shards what i want to see here and i still haven't seen it devs put back the awaken crystal shards we need that we need that back for that sec for the for this week here right kamuzo's bell they also have a new prototype again all these new prototypes but we still haven't even seen the old previous prototypes. What's going on with that? Twilight Lands is all about prototypes. So we want to see some new ones. Yes, they added the notes, the Cosmos Lord to the current Twilight Lands, but it's a reward for the top 20. It's not a reward that you will get if you clear said stage, right? There also is a copy of Emma Soul Crystal in there. So there's an opportunity to get that. Hopefully this is the one where I get lucky enough to actually get one of these divine prototypes. I haven't been able to get any. So we also have details gathering. If you really care about that, there's premium development and endless battles will be back. Most likely it will be hunters, tanks, and assassins for no reason. All right. Not going to do vanguards what, or summoners. They just did summoners. So it's most likely going to be assassin just to be annoying. Right. So we'll see how that goes. They added a new, like I was talking about, a new red divine prototype shift plume. And it says at the start of battle, all allied hunter heroes gain life steal. Do you really necessarily need that to gain life steal? And bonus damage to enemies for a few seconds. Okay. Interestingly enough. The prototype that I run in the middle already have life steal. So I guess that's an added one. And of course, they added 
the shift room fusion trip to the divine prototype realm okay we need more ways to get tickets for that personally and i've already, already said it i'm gonna say it again the pity shouldn't reset if you pull it before 60 or if, you, if you're gonna do that right you should be able to get it at 30. you should get uh a guarantee at 30. 60 is a lot but that's neither here nor there i already spoke about that the toji and triangle levels increase added new levels from 21 to 25 to roulette of truth battlefield of azora rims and rod rod space molten abyss and thundercliff that's going to be insane it's already tough enough going to 20 because some of them i'm not even at 20 yet right and they also extended Crimson Abyss added new levels. I think this is a typo here from 21 to 25. I think it's already at 24, right? Yeah. So I don't know if they meant they're only going to add one level. I don't understand what they meant by that because they're only going to add one level. And they also optimized guild technology system. So now you can go all the way up to level 75. It's already hard enough to go to even up a level. What they needed to do is increase the amount you get from going up a level. It's so bad. It's not even nothing really. But if you're sitting on a whole lot of gene breakthrough course and you can bring it up to higher levels again for me, and it takes a lot to go up to those higher levels. I didn't even finish some of the classes anyways, but function optimization players can now view gems information inserted in divine prototypes yes in lineup page and pvp settlement page sure yeah sounds great love that two levels interestingly enough new heroes endless battles and of course i completely forgot gill expedition but that don't start till the second week i can't remember off the top of my i think it starts later at some point so that was a patch notes there also for the gift code Gift code is very simple, easy, very easy. You go in here, that's how you get to it. And of course you type in master. That is the gift code. I know you may think it's a joke, but I already accessed it myself. So, cause I had to check to make sure it worked. And then you just type that in capital M A S T A. And you get five wands and three divine prototype cards it's not much but i hope it helps and bring you to completing a level or get into get you to wherever you need to go right so again for me my progression is i'm only on the second iteration of all this and i don't think i'm gonna go any further than where i am now i'll get another shot at it and then that's that but the reason why I, I am going to do this is because I had a few people because I had posted this hell arena here and I had a lot of people I was asking me, what does the, the teams of this guy look like? Like, look at this. Let's just go through this. So first up, he has a tank team, a five man tank team worth. Thirty three point seven million. All right. Actually, now that I'm thinking about it, I know that I said I was going to do it, but I think I might wait. You know why I want to wait? Because the reason why I want to wait is because I want to see, because if I, at if I attack him, um, hmm, but it'll be here though. It would be in this part here. We'll be, we might be able to see it tomorrow, but we'll do, we'll do it. We'll do it for the sake of the video. And I was going to wait because I wanted to see because they said that they're going to update. And you can see what the gems are looking like. So let's just go back to the teams here. And like I said, 33 million for his tank team. 40 million for his Vanguard team. That's insane. What? His two teams here equals the total of my whole account. <laughs> like, let that sink in. The total of my whole account account let's go back and actually look at that let's see where my total uh 
combat power is. My to- There's no faster way to get to home by without backing out. My total combat power is 74 million. There's two teams that is the equal of all of that. So what we're going to do in here, we're just going to attack him because it doesn't really matter. We're going to end up losing anyway. So it's neither here nor there. There's no point. Of, there's no trying to win here, right? So again, his assassin team, five-man team, this is the lowest one, 26 million. Not bad there, right? 32 for his summoner team. He says, I don't need no support. I'm just going to run my summoner straight up, right? Then he has his hunter team. His M must probably awaken 10. Miranda's awaken 10. Artemis is fully maxed out, 32 million. He has all the prototypes there, prototypes there, prototypes there. I'm, I'm, I'm tempted. Just, just, just for, just for sh and giggles. I know, I know that, um, this team here cannot beat a 10 Cora because I only have thing in there because I was attacking some tank team. Maybe we would need, we would need this. Hold on. Let me, let me can I steal this? I know the assassins are not going to win. I'm going to try, you know, give it a, give it a try. I need that. Let's put something here just put whatever here. It doesn't matter. You're going to lose anyway, but. I think this is the one we could potentially beat. Could. But I doubt it. I highly doubt it. Because once Jack City pops his ultimate deer, everything in the middle is going to get a race. But we can try, right? Everything else is just going to be L. Let's go see what he has. Go back here. And we could just skip over it. Because it's going to be quick. It's going to be quick. Let's just skip over it and see. So we lost. All together. Everybody lost. But... More importantly, let's see. Did we even put up a fight? 46 seconds. We actually put up a fight with them. Yeah, here, 46 seconds. That was the longest battle. The Assassins was five seconds. My energy team put up the most competition there, which is pretty good. A10, A10, Daniel, A10, Anpu. Interesting. A Mortal 5, Jaxity. That guy's crazy when it comes to damage. The summoner team only lasts 24. And as you can see here, everything else is that. But what I wanted to see was what is he running? So Connor here are okay. So he, he, everything, everybody's tempered out, right? Yep. Pretty much. Yeah. Everybody, even Canis, Canis is running healing. Interestingly enough. Okay. Not resonance. As you can see what Panda's running there, you've seen what he's running. I know I'm moving fast. But this kind of gives you like a blueprint instead of running. And I, I had said this. So instead of running resonance, he has rebirth on his Masrani. So take note there. You see, we already know. But these stuff we're already we're already aware of right there. And Leo has vigorous versus damage reduction. Let's see what he put on Theon that there. We're not really interested in them. Let's go down to here. And okay, that's not new there. Also with on pool. Okay. So let's see down here what he has on. Wait, what? You seen this, right? Why is he running extraction on Miranda? So extraction increases the HP by 50% when a summon receives critical damage heal for 5% of max HP. I'm so confused. Is this a joke? So when the caster summons are on the battlefield themselves and their summon gains 25% damage reduction. Is this a joke? Is he trolling me right now? Why is he running extraction on Miranda? That's interesting. Let's see what he has on Emma. We already know we're going to be unleash. And he's running unleash on Rhizerus versus Fade Out. Interestingly enough, same thing for Vaz, same thing for Rebecca. Okay, what does he run here? Oh, this is another question too. He runs Extraction on Jaxity versus Surge. So there you go. You had it. You've seen it first, right? We're going through. Um, anybody else that I can think of that would be interesting? Wamigan is going to be Wamigan, but. Let's just watch this battle here and see how we did. Because I, I assumed that we would die instantly, but we kind of got lucky there. We got lucky there and 
of course we're not going to do enough damage that's the problem and i think that's what the issue would be so again i'm looking at their survivability but like think about how much damage they are doing like nord's gonna die when nord falls it it's tough to recover from there but the fact that they even put up this much of a fight this just goes to show that take takes help take help out a lot with the energy team even though it's not all energy versus it being atlas just think about that if nord didn't die here potentially we could have done a lot better but remember my ravenna is only awakened what five and this is why i like skinny because he now gets he goes into this insane he just goes insane here but again as you can see they, they actually put up a fight all the other teams were already dead by that point he killed all of even if you come i think if he did the math for how long it took to wipe out the other teams they they were already dead even if you combine all the time together they were all dead but i just wanted to show you guys that i'm still a little confused about the extraction on miranda maybe he knows something that i don't but that's interesting there but i just wanted to show you guys that i know a couple of people were asking me on facebook to show the guys team there it is we'll go over it one more time so you can see it you can pause the video whatever you need to do but these, this is a team he's running and crazy. But again, I think with the same level of heroes, yeah, we could have taken that. If, if if my energy team was at least twenty million, we could have we could have beat that that uh, summoner team there. So they actually put up a fight. I appreciate that. Good to know that my energy team is a lot better than it was before. If you made it this far in the video, comment down below, ultra crack it, because man, I don't know what I got myself into. For me, I'm just trying to just retain my ranking, right? Just trying to retain my ranking. Chances are it's going to be difficult. I'll update you guys once this season or whatever they call it is over. It's week. Yeah, week is over and see if we maintain our ranking or we get kicked back down to legendary again because we've been in legendary for far too long but okay patch notes you know new levels interesting there probably can't beat them because we don't have enough gems need more ways to get gems so if you're new to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button for tips updates and guides but those that are rocking with me make sure you hit the like button to help out with the algorithm as always and don't forget to comment how you feel about the new upcoming updates without further ado i want to thank you for watching till the next video peace